1991, birds and people are living together in seemingly perfect harmony. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Game Week 32 deadline stream. Only six more of these to go after this. All weekend ones as well, by the way. There should be, I think there's going to be a Friday deadline. There is a Friday deadline at some point in game week 35, 36 maybe. Anyway, that's a long way away. Um, my team is, I'm probably rolling. Um, I do like the idea of getting eight Nuri, but I'm probably just going to roll. Captaincy, oh, I don't know. Captaincy, I'm just not sure. I'm just not sure. I think with captaincy, I'm going to end up on Cole Palmer. But, um, I don't know. Morning from Oren Moore. I used to live there. You have more hair than usual. I mean, I'm going bold, basically. But uh, I've not had it cut since just before Paddy's Day, I think. Palmer versus promoted teams this season. 12 plus 15 versus Burnley. 18 versus Luton. 14 versus Sheffield United. Yeah, it's pretty good. Sheffield United away is a good fixture. Morning from Oslo. I mean, I've been to the Oslo as well, but <laughs> we're talking the pub in Salt Hill, not uh, not uh, not in Europe. Um, I'm going to put up a. I'm going to quickly put up a captaincy poll. I think we'll just we'll just put it straight away. Um, I wish I could do more than four options, to be honest, because I think it's needed. I'm pretty sure Palmer's going to win. I think the top three are probably Harlan, Palmer, and Salah. I think Son's an option as well. Foden too. Uh, someone else. There we go. The poll is up, so get voting on that as well. I, th I think it will be will be Palmer. How much is dollars is your team? Uh, I'm not sure. You can go and put it together, and you can see for yourself. Zabani to eight Yuri for a minus four. No, 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 no. Right, eight Yuri is good. I don't think he's minus four good. I mean, I could get him for free, and I'm probably not going to do it. Uh, my dad thinks Anthony Gordon is a better footballer than Saka. Oh, come on. Come on. Gordon's good. Gordon's really good, but Saka's great. I don't know. I saw some... My my general advice if you use Twitter is don't click on the For You page. It's just it's just complete nonsense. And I accidentally clicked on it the other day, and um, I saw something about Cole Palmer being better than Saka. I'm like, come on. Recency bias or what? Saka's fantastic. It wasn't even that long ago that Saka was like scoring an assist in every game. Do a live show in Norway sometime would be total man. I should probably do one in like the country I live in first <laughs> before I before I do anything else. There is someone that's looking to set up a live show in Ireland ahead of next season that wants me on the panel, which I might do. If anyone's interested. I wouldn't be presenting it though. Someone else would be presenting it and I would just be on the panel. Uh, when can we expect news on City's lineup? Well, probably much closer to the deadline, I would say. Um, but I'm sure we'll get some news. You're up early today. I have to get I have to get out ahead of the storm. Storm Kathleen is on its way to Ireland. We got a orange weather warning from 7 a.m. until 5 p.m. today. But um, I it wasn't that bad at 7 a.m. So I just went out and walked. Got it. Went out before the storm got really bad, basically. But um. Yeah, that's why I was up early. I'm usually up pretty early anyway. Do the panel. Competition's getting more fierce. What do you mean? Competition. It's not like a Let's Talk FPL show. Can I just copy your team? I wouldn't. I'm pretty bad at this game. Storm Harlan. You know what? Honestly, I know I've said this on yesterday's video, I think, or I've said it at some point. The discussion around Harlan is crazy. It's like, it's like he's just terrible now. He's basically blanked two weeks and that's it. Liverpool and Arsenal at home. Like, the last time he scored was against Man United in game week 27. Which was... When was game week 27? Second of March. Third, third of March, right? So it's over a month since he scored in the league. So it feels like forever. But it's only really two game weeks. Because last game week he didn't even play. I'm sure he would have scored against Villa. Now, obviously, it's not great for FPL for him to continue missing out. But if he starts today, like he's he's great. You can't captain a player who just had 0.1 expected goal involvement at home versus the worst team in the league. Wait, what? Who are we talking about? We're talking about Son. Start Ganacho or Solanke. 
Uh, I mean, Solanke seems pretty easy, I guess. Since marrying an Irish lass and moving to Ireland, have you taken a liking to Irish folk music like the Chieftains? Uh, I'm not sure who that is. I do like I do like um, Irish trad music, like in the pub and stuff. I don't know who the Chieftains are, if I'm honest. So don't don't kill me. Don't kill me. What do they sing? Mm, I'm not sure I know them. But I do like Irish trad music. Um, Foden, I definitely can't. I, I don't think if Foden starts, he's not a bad captain by any stretch. But I definitely prefer Palmer, right? Better fixture plus penalties. Someone, someone said to me this morning, the last time, the last time everyone captained a Chelsea midfielder against a terrible team and ignored Salah versus Man United, it went horribly wrong. I think that was when Havertz blanked in a seven 0 against Norwich. <laughs> People captain Havertz, and some of us, some of us just didn't have Havertz, so we ended up captaining Salah instead, and Salah absolutely smashed Man United. Um, I don't know. I feel like Havertz captain was very unlucky that day. I'm sure there's some people in the chat that captained him, but also Havertz didn't have penalties. I think Mount took a penalty in that in that fixture. At least at least Palmer would have pens. Yeah, maybe I should. The thing is, right? I'm probably overthinking it a little bit now. I think in terms of effective ownership, Palmer will be highest. I think he'll be the highest ownership when you include captaincy today. Then I think it's going to be Salah, maybe. I think the fact that Salah blanked against Sheffield United will put some people off. But I think it'll be Salah second, then Haaland, then Son. So I'm, I'm partly thinking, when it's so close, do I really just want to Do I want to go for Son and push it? Or do I just want to go for Palmer and play safe? I mean, it's not like I'm only going for Palmer because it's safe. I also think he's just a great option. But I'm tempted just to go for someone a little bit differential. Um... I don't know. I don't think the ownership like gaps will be massive, but like, could Palmer be 140, 150 percent effective ownership possibly? And then Son's probably going to be 90 to 100. Uh, who's my final captain? We'll see in an hour and 52 minutes. Uh, and by the way, this is not me trying to drag out this thing in suspense. I, I just don't know. Basically, I'm tempted to go. For Son was my initial thought back in game week 29 i thought game week 30 i'm going to captain son against luton game week 31 i'm going to captain salah against sheffield united and game week 32 i'm probably going to captain son or harland that, that's who i was thinking at the time but now i feel like i'm more likely to captain palmer or salah as a united fan i'm captain in salah without a doubt yeah i i really think it's probably a good idea man united are not very good um there's, there's just part of me that thinks could Man United turn up at Old Trafford and be up for it against Liverpool? They could do. What's the chances of that? I'm not sure it's that high. Um, I don't know. I feel like for most people, Cole Palmer's the one. That if you don't... Obviously, you can only captain one player. So there's going to be three, four good options you can't captain. But I feel like for most people, Palmer will be the one that if you don't captain him, he does well, you'll regret because it's Sheffield United. I think people have the most regrets about Palmer. I love people saying get your United hat off, despite me saying Man United are terrible and Salah's a really good captain option. <clears throat> like Man United's Man United's expected goals conceded this year are worse than Burnley. It's ridiculous. Also, another stupid thing that came into my head was out of the four players that I'm choosing between, Palmer, Salah, Son, and Haaland, I look at it and think, I don't think Haaland's the fourth worst captain out of those, right? But at the same time, I think he's the least likely captain for me, which, which just doesn't sound logical at all. Like, there's no, I just don't believe that Haaland's the fourth worst out of those four, but also I'm probably not going to captain him at all, whereas I'm looking at the other three. I think Man United could show up against Liverpool, but look, let's be real, they... Won the game in the FA Cup. They still conceded three goals. I know that one of them was in extra time, but... I don't know. Man United are pretty terrible. Habits in for Saka. Um, maybe. I, I, I'm not sure if Saka is going to start. I, I think he probably will, but I, I can't. I don't have the team news or anything like that. I, I... I think he's more likely to start than not, but I, I'm definitely less confident than I was last week, that's for sure. 
Uh, start Gross or Vardiol. Um, I'd usually start the attacker. Who Who's Brighton got? Now? Oh, Arsenal away, of course. Uh, oh, sorry, Arsenal at home. Um, I think I'd start Gross still. If we get harder news that he's starting, he's got to be the first captain, first choice captain. Um, the thing is, I think we all expect Salah and Son and Palmer to start, right? So we're not really worried about minutes for those players, I don't think. I should just go Palmer like everyone else, maybe. Palmer just, I, I think Son will be the lowest captain of the lot, and I'm tempted just to go for it, because I, I think it is close. I, I, I'm... <laughs> Obviously, my hope is that whoever I captain outscores the rest by about 20 points, right? That has to be my hope because I want to try and win this game. Um, but generally, like, I think it would be harsh if one of these captains, like, outscores the rest by, like, 15, 20 points. I, I just don't think the... I think the decision's a lot closer than that. Like, if, if Palmer outscores Salah by six points, so whatever, right? They, those things can happen. But if it's, like, 16 points, that is, that's harsh, I think. Like, there's no, like, you can say that Palmer's the best captain, but I don't think he's 16 points better than Salah or 16 points better than Son, if that makes sense. Uh, start Muniz or Saka. Ooh, Fulham have got an all right fixture, haven't they? Let me just remind myself. Newcastle at home. Are we really at the point where we're starting Muniz over Saka? I get. I guess for a surety of starts, you probably do. I was watching Liverpool against Sheffield United, and it wasn't fully convincing. The chance in the first half we missed. He still ended up scoring three goals, though. And Man United, Man United defense is not that much better than Sheffield United. Would you bench Luis Diaz for Solanke or Menez? Not for Solanke, I don't think. Maybe Menez. I. I I'd probably play Luis Diaz, I think. Seb on golf. Nice shit. You're a bit biased, though. You're a little bit biased. Uh, how many goals do you expect the captain's team to score? For me, Man City 2, Spurs 2, Chelsea 2.5, Liverpool 3 equals Salah captain. Um, I could see Liverpool scoring 3. I mean, I could definitely see Chelsea scoring 3 or more against Sheffield United. I mean, to be honest, like, honestly, I could see all of those teams scoring 3. Uh, what's your FPL challenge team? I haven't actually made it for this week. I'll probably make it after the stream. How sure am I that Saka starts? Uh, I'm, I'm like more sure than not, but I'm not anywhere near as confident as I am usually. Like usually I'm like 99% sure. Now I'm probably 60, 65. Is this the most interesting captaincy week of the season? It's the most interesting one in recent times. I'm sure there were some earlier in the season that were fairly close. Maybe not with four captains like this, though. Maybe maybe there was like a close decision between two, three, possibly not four. I, I, I'm, I'm, a bit, there's, I'm a bit worried about it because these kind of weeks can really like... I'm sure it's not going to be like... It's not going to be world-ending or anything like that, of course. But there's this part of me that just think you get it wrong. Like it could be like a... You know, I'm 25k. I could be outside the top 50k just getting it wrong. Does worry me a bit. But at least I've got them all, I guess. I'm a little bit less worried about not owning Foden this week. That could also go really bad. Uh, Chelsea do play worse against low blocks. Yeah, maybe. But also, Palmer's done fine against all the other... In, in most of the games, he's played against easier opposition. Wondering what Salah's stats are during Ramadan. I, don't, I think if they were really bad, people would be talking about it. I think he's, he's, he's well used to it. Uh, I want to bench Madison for Gordon. Do you reckon that's daft? I, I don't think it's completely daft because it's not like either of them got penalties. Gordon's minutes are probably going to be better based on what we've seen from Madison. I just, I can see why people may be getting frustrated with Madison. Um, I just think Forrest at home, I'd probably just risk it. I, I don't even think it's a risk. I, I would probably just play Madison against Forrest at home. Uh, Palmer Horde in the reverse fixture. There you go. Uh, two free transfers have to use one. Udogi to eight Nuri slash Branthwaite. I would probably go eight Nuri over Everton defender, I think. Uh, Pep must be kicking himself. Reed Palmer knew he was good, but probably not that good. I, I don't think he's necessarily kicking himself. But they had to sell for FFP, didn't they? I mean, I, I mean, people say stuff like that, but if they had Palmer, he wouldn't be playing. 
Because most of the time, it's Foden or Bernardo Silva on the right, and Palmer's not better than those two players. So I'm sure, I'm sure Man City knew they were selling a really good player. Man, United, uh, Man City have sold good players in the past, and they always do fine. I mean, we're talking about a team that's just won the treble and could do it again. I'm, I'm not sure they're that worried about Cole Palmer. Uh, Ant, 20 months. Thank you very much. Uh, are we expecting another penalty for Palmer? <laughs> um, whilst his non-pen XG is okay, it's not brilliant. Happy to bet against his captain. I mean, that's the thing in it. He is being... Like, he's not only propped up by penalties. Of course not. He's had plenty of returns outside of that. But he he is doing as well as he is because of penalties. Um, do they get another one? It's impossible to predict. Like, someone tweeted me the other day and said, you know, the reason that we're getting so many penalties is because of the way Chelsea attack. But let's be real... Like, Liverpool, Arsenal, and Man City are all better attacks than Chelsea. So there's no reason they wouldn't get more penalties. Unless we're saying that Chelsea players dive more. Um, like it, it just it can just happen. Look at Man United a few seasons ago, right? Fernandes absolutely smashed it. He had penalties. Like, it felt like every other week. And all, all of a sudden, you just, don't, you just don't get them. Like, they will dry up at some point. It's just when does that happen, right? It's impossible to predict. It could be from now until the end of the season. It could be halfway into next season. You just don't know. But he, they won't keep getting this many penalties. It just won't happen. No matter what people say about it's how we play, it's how, it just won't happen. It's whether or not you want to bet against that, right? Because I, I agree. Like Palmer, this is why I keep saying, Palmer is a really good asset. There's no doubt about that in my mind. Like I've played him pretty much every single week I've had him. I'm not worried about the price and stuff like that. But it, without the penalties, he's not better than Salah or Son or Haaland. But he does have the, be the best fixture out of the lot this week. So, I, I, I don't know. I think, honestly, we're, we're going to be sat here for an hour and 43 minutes talking about captaincy. And I'm not going to come to a conclusion that, that makes me think this is the one. I'm just going to end up having to pick one. And that will be it. Uh, start Gordon. Uh, uh, ben, member for five months. Thank you very much. Uh, start Gordon or Sarabia. Uh, I think Gordon. Van Dyke or Branthway. I go Branthway, right? It's Burnley at home. Yeah, definitely. I mean, obviously, Van Dyke could get a clean sheet United away, but I, I'm not. As bad as Man United are, I think they score. I'm not saying they win the game, but I think they score. Uh, which three defenders to start from Gabriel, Saliba, Porro, Conza, Zabar? I think you've. Okay. You're leaning towards Gabriel, Porro, Conza. I think you've got to play Porro at home to someone like um, Forrest. Conza, Villa have got Brentford at home. Yeah, I think it's okay to split between Gabriel and Saliba. I'd probably do the same. I don't think there's any harm in playing both, but I think when you've got Conza at home to Brentford, that's probably fine, yeah. Oh, yeah, they've all got penalties as well, yeah. Yeah. Harlan, Salah, and um, Son. I mean, Son's only had one, one all season. Like, this is the, this is the, the disparity between, like, I think, I think Chelsea have had, like, eight or nine penalties in the league, and, so, and like, Spurs have had one. Like, it's just, it, these things happen, you know? I can't show you my FPL challenge team because I've not made it yet. Genuinely, it's, it's blank. I can pull it up and show you. Um, this is my FPL challenge team right here. I think it could do well. Uh, Kivior over Gusto and go with... No, oh, you've got to play Gusto, right? I think if you... It's Sheffield United away. Like, don't get me wrong. Chelsea are one of those defences that they will, they probably will find a way to concede, but you've got to play Gusto if you own him. Surely. What's the reason not to play him? He's going to start, right? Uh, a few people saying they're all on penalties. Did I say that they're not on penalties? Because if I did, then obviously that was a mistake. Uh, what are your thoughts about FPL Challenge so far? Are you enjoying it? I, I quite like it, yeah. I, I liked it last week. I, I'm kind of... I'm playing it a little bit differently. I guess I'm I'm not saying I'm only picking differentials, but I am trying to go for it a little bit more because what's the point in playing other, any other way? So like last week, I went for five Liverpool defenders, for example. Uh, and no Salah, no Darwin, no Diaz, which actually the, the attack side worked out well, but the fact they scored, uh, conceded was a nightmare. Uh, on Wildcard, how mad is it to go Foden instead of Haaland? I, I I don't want to say it's mad, right? It, it's not. If you want to if you want to do that, that's fine. Plenty of people have had one premium this season that's gone really well. And if you're not going to captain Haaland that much over the next few weeks, you don't need to have him, right? So I'm not saying it's mad, but 
I do think the narrative is going to change pretty quickly soon on Harden. It's only going to take a brace or something like that against Palace, and all of a sudden, oh, well, he's got Luton at home. Of course I'm going to captain him. I mean, don't get me wrong, the benching against Villa has put me off a little bit, but I just, unless your team value is really bad, I'm not sure you gain enough by not having him. But if you want to go Foden, I think that's perfectly reasonable. Uh, frosted slash honey shreddies or crunchy nut. Crunchy nut for sure. I haven't had crunchy nut cornflakes for a long time. They're so good. Uh, they've had at least nine. Palmer scored eight. Enzo missed one. Oh, yes, of course. Of course. Uh, I'm not sure if there's any more, but they've had a lot. Thoughts on a minus four? Saka to Son. If you, if you don't think Saka starts, then I think it's probably fair if you're free hit 34. But if you're not free hit 34, Son's going to blank in game week 34, so you probably don't need him. Uh, bench Gusto or Burn. Again, I think you've got to play Gusto if you've got if you have him. To be honest with you, for next game, will you do Gabriel and Saka to Udogi and Foden with two free transfers, free hit thirty four, bench boost thirty seven, or remove Salah instead of Saka? Um, if you can, I'd keep Salah. I, I think it depends, right? You you need to have a look at what team you're going to try and build afterwards, and if you need the money from Salah, maybe just sell him. But ideally, you keep him ahead of Saka. Like I love Salah, uh, Saka. He's not as good as Salah. Uh, Tom, how's it going? Top of the league. Happy days. I'm sticking with Palmer, Salah, Son, Saka, Foden, and Hana, but would you go Izak or Nunez? I think I think I would still go the same as what I said last week. Izak if you're free, hit 34. Darwin, Nunez if you're not. Because even though Darwin just played 90 minutes, I'm pretty sure he's going to start against Man United. I think it would be very weird for Klopp to start Gakpo. Um... And then you've, only, then you've got Palace at home a week late. I, I know there's European matches and stuff. I can't remember, actually. When do Liverpool's European matches start? I think, yeah, it's before Palace, isn't it? It's Man United, then it's Europa League, and then it's Palace, yeah. Um, I just think I just think if Darwin's going to get rested, it might be in the Europa League. I just think he's going to start against Man United and then against Palace. Like, the top of the league. They are top of the league, right? <laughs> Did I miss that? I'm pretty sure they are. It's just so tight. Yeah, one oh the two points. Damn. Well, Liverpool might actually win it. Um so yeah, I think Darwin definitely starts. I, I don't think and, and then I think he'll start against Palace and then you've got the double, right? So how have you not got Isaac? Dunno. Dunno. It's a mystery. Um uh, City team news. Nope. The sack the sack is start, hopefully. But we don't know for sure. Uh, Gusto over Doubt. Honestly, I I don't. I'm trying to think now. Who, who, which defenders would I start over Gusto? I don't think there's Poro. Maybe I'd start Gusto over Arsenal defenders this week. Uh, why is arrested Harlan not the favourite for the armband? Because we're all just recency bias merchants, and because he hasn't scored for a month, we're worried about him deep down. Even 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 the the most non emotional FPL managers that don't think about recent returns at all. Try not to. They're still affected a little bit. I'm telling you now, if Haaland has scored a brace or a hat-trick against Aston Villa, he'd be captain more. I include myself in that as well. There's probably a little bit of that for me while I'm not going for him. Uh, got both Bradley and, Vine, and, Vine, <laughs> and Van Dyke. Who do you go for? Bradley for clean sheet assist or... Oh, we'll definitely go for Van Dyke. Bradley might not even start. In fact, I'm going to put Bradley third bench because I, I'm not convinced he starts. Uh, and one thing I forgot to mention on yesterday's video, someone pointed out to me, I, I said that I think Simicast and Gomez will start. I forgot that Robertson got minutes midweek. So I think it would actually be Robertson and Gomez that will start for Liverpool. I don't think Bradley's going to start against Man United. Uh, start Meniz or Saka? <laughs> I, I guess you go safe with Meniz. I think Brad, I think Saka will start though. Oh my god! I hope he starts. I hope he gets plenty of returns. I hope he gets a hat trick. Don't you think Saka will be rested for Champions League? But he just he just got rested for Luton. Like they can't keep him out forever. They're they're trying to win a league, you know. I I tweeted this morning, right? The the info the the most recent info I had about Saka was that we shouldn't be too worried about the fact he wasn't in the squad against Luton. Um, but I've not heard anything since. I, I don't have the team news for later. I can't tell you if he started. My personal opinion is he's definitely... I, I'm, I'd be shocked if he's not in the squad. Um, I, w I wouldn't go as far as to say that I'd be shocked if he doesn't start because I'm not as confident as normal. I think he probably will. 
I just think if he's fit and available, he has to play. Like, okay, you rest a few players against Luton at home, fine. You don't rest players against Brighton away if they're available. That is just a tough fixture. Um, have two free transfers, need to replace Ake for who at the same money? Um, Ars probably Arsenal. Def oh, at the same money, though. How much is Ake? Five million. So you can't even get Gabriel. Um, I mean, you could just go to a different Man City defender, right? Someone like Vardiol the same price so it depends whether you need someone if you need someone for double game week 34 i'd go eight and Yuri. if you don't maybe vardio um gusto saliba poro gabriel eight and Yuri. i played gusto eight and Yuri and poro i actually i'd actually in your case m maybe benched ugh, am i really putting eight and Yuri ahead of arsenal defenders i think i am i'd maybe bench double arsenal in your case Do we know how long Ake is out for? We we don't, to be honest. Um, I think from what Pep initially said, it's it's quite bad. Like maybe like it's going to be three four weeks, maybe. But I don't think he's recently said another time frame, so it's hard to know. I'm pretty confident you'll get thirty two and thirty three out of Vardy. Old. Beyond that, I mean, who knows? I mean, is it beyond? It, like, is it possible that he could get benched in the next two games? I guess it is, right? They could, if Stones is back, they could play Rico Lewis right back, Stones Diaz centre backs, and then Kanji left back. Like he's played there before, but I just think, I just think he'd prefer to have Vardio there. So I think he will start the next two. But I mean, this is why I just can't stand Man City defenders. Uh, Gomez will start as a six. Endo not fit to free Maka. Uh, possibly, yeah. Played there before. Would he do that against Man United? Like, as bad as Man United have been, right? And we all, we can all agree on that. Even Man United fans know how bad they've been. Klopp's not going to take him for granted. Is he going to play Gomez there? Maybe. Is Endo definitely out? I don't think he's definitely out, is he? I can't see anything, but I'm not sure he's definitely out. Opinion about Cunha over Nunez. I wouldn't go that far. I like Cunha, but I don't think he's better than Darwin. Have I owned a Man City defender at all this season? I I don't think so. Without going back and checking all the way through, I'm not sure. But I don't think so. I don't think I ever bought Carl Walker early on the season when he was starting all the time. I definitely haven't bought Stones. Yes, Ake. I don't think so. I could be wrong on that, though. Uh, Jojo, member for seven months. Good luck on the um, good luck on the marathon. I think it's this weekend. I had a dream last night. The Son scored. Still on Salah, captain. Shout out to my mate Sai, who's catching me and loves left to FPL. Shout out. Um, yeah, good luck on the marathon. I think you're doing that this weekend. Uh, <laughs> so you had a dream. The Son scored, but you're still going Salah. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know. I quite like the, the thing is. I it's it's just pain if Son doesn't do well. And like, am I that confident in him? I'm not sure I am. Yeah, maybe I should just switch caps in a second. Maybe we should go this way around. Palmer just seems so boring because everyone's doing it, but it is Sheffield United away. It seems like, in some ways, it feels like a bit of a no-brainer. Yeah, some people saying Endo will play on Sunday. Yeah, I, I think it'll be Robertson and Gomez fullbacks, to be honest. Because in the FA Cup game against Man United, he played Simakas and Gomez. I don't think Bradley's going to play. Uh, play three of Gabriel, Saliba, Gusto, and Zabani, or play all four and bench. No, I wouldn't bench Maniz. I would bench Zabani out of those, I think. Son has five returns in the last four. Yeah, Son's pretty good. Um, Son is pretty good. Palmer's pretty good. Salah's pretty good as well. Haaland's pretty good. Uh, Son is the last game of the day too. Feel yeah, yeah, it's very close to um, Palmer though. So because the because the Spurs game got moved from Monday to Sunday, it's a six o'clock kickoff, and Palmer's kicking off at half five. So the thing is, if you go Sally, you're, you're going to know whether he's blanked or not just just before Palmer kicks off. I wish I wish I hadn't checked when players are playing. Also, that's another thing about Harlan. That's that's uh, I forgot that a lot of people are going to be put off because he's playing the early game. 
even though he's just been rested for the previous game. I transferred Foden out for Salah. Could have been Son. Yeah, lots of people did that. I now hope Foden is the one rested this week. I, I don't see it, to be honest. I think Foden is just going to start the next two. Um, I hope he misses out. But I'm not sure. Why is YouTube promoting FPL Raptor under your video? Uh, I don't know. Maybe it just knows that that's a better stream to go and watch. Why was Salah taken off at 60 minutes? I don't know. Maybe it was pre-planned. Maybe they just wanted to rest him for the Man United game. Uh, if it leaks that Haaland starts, would that affect your captain pick? Not really, because I'm pretty sure that Haaland, Son, Palmer, and Salah are all going to start. I don't really have concerns about that at all. But I do think that if Haaland starts, he could come off early, but only if the game's won. Who's more likely to keep a clean sheet, Newcastle or Aston Villa? Probably Villa. I would say. Uh, that's how I would back at home. I, I, th I don't think either of them will keep a clean sheet, but I'd probably go Villa at home. Son has almost has been almost blanking lately. All of his goals have been in the dying minutes of the game. Yeah, but <laughs> almost blanking, but actually not blanking, right? It doesn't matter when you score. First 90th minute, they all count. Salah was taken off because he wasn't involved in the game. He'll be involved against Man United, that's for sure. Uh, choose top 7-8. So basically bench one, uh, Meniz. Do, 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 do. Yeah, Meniz out of those, I think. Like, come on, you're not benching Salah, Son, Palmer, are you? I mean, you could bench Saka if you wanted to for Meniz, if you're worried about his minutes, but no one else, I don't think. This week is a nightmare for captain. It's probably, it's probably one of those great weeks. If you're fully... Like, so many people would just be... Super confident on Palmer. They've picked their captain. They're happy. And they're actually probably not finding it tough at all. Uh, Watkins or Saka, which one to start? Ooh, the battle of the players that are, are slight doubts. I think Watkins is going to start. Um, I also think Saka is going to start. Uh, so I will say... I'll say... Uh, I don't know. I'll say Saka. It's, I don't know, though. At home. Maybe, I'd, maybe it should be Watkins. The penalties. The penalties always swings it for me. Brent for the home, Brighton away. I I'm going to say Watkins. I'm going to say Watkins. Would I captain Haaland if De Bruyne starts? I mean, I think De Bruyne starts, and I'm probably not going to captain him. Uh, ain't Yuri Gabriel Van Dyke Bench one Van Dyke, I think. Mm-mm-mm. We think Salah is suffering from Ramadan. I, I just like I think the thing to keep in mind with Salah is he was injured. And he is getting older. So so maybe actually he's just having to come back and have his minutes managed a bit. Now he played twenty nine against City, ninety against Brighton, and fifty nine against Sheffield United. Like a lot of people said that he wasn't great against Sheffield United, but still, you don't often get taken off Salah that early. So he's only he's only played not, I think he played in the Man United match. But he only played seventy six minutes in that. So he's only played ninety minutes once against Brighton since he returned. I think. Oh no, did he play? He might have played ninety in Europe actually. Uh, thanks for that most recent um, super chat. Free hit in thirty four. So I've swapped Saka for Foden and Gabriel Fardy or no Arsenal players. Ooh, good luck. I don't think it's the worst time to not have Arsenal players, but obviously as someone with double defence, I'm hoping they continue to do awesome. Uh, forget the hat-trick of Foden. Do you think Son is the better option for the next two game weeks? Uh, yeah. Yeah. But I mean, Foden is great if he starts both. I mean, that's the reason I kept Son, because I thought he was the better option for the next three. I mean, so far, it's, I'm a lot of points down on that decision, and I'm not going to get them back. But yeah, it still goes Son. Uh, Darwin to Jackson to prepare for double game at 35. I'm also on free hit 34. I also have a planned transfer in 35 to bring in Dallow for Lascelles. Would you rather swap the transfer or just trust Jackson? Um, like if you have to use a... Tra I, I don't know if I would be getting rid of Darwin this week for someone on nine yellow cards. Basically. So I'd probably switch the transfers. Like Lascelles is done, right? 
Uh, how long have we been playing FPL? Like 12 or 13 years or something like that? Uh, let me just double check, actually, because someone asked me this the other day. So I've had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I've already had 13 seasons. This is my 14th season. Damn, that's a long time. Uh, start Saka or Madison. I, the thing is, when someone asks me a question like that, I feel like I've got to say Madison because I, I know Madison's going to start, whereas I'm a little bit unsure about Saka. But if I feel like it probably should be Saka if they both start. I guess Madison's got to be the safer choice. Solanke to Isaac, worth it. Um, yeah, I, I don't mind Solanke to Isaac. But like, I'd probably just roll and do it next week instead, maybe. If you've got to use a transfer because you're free hit 34, I think that's fine. Yeah, I wouldn't sell Darwin before Man United. Uh, Chelsea do a shocker, Sun all day long. Yeah, but also they might not have a shocker and Palmer might do really well. One eight Neary, two Gabriel, three Pau Torres, four Dawson. Which two to play alongside Bradley? You think Bradley will definitely play? Uh, eight Neary and Gabriel, I think. Am I aiming for 11 double game weekers? I'm going to have at least 10, uh, maybe 11 if I sell Haaland. Like my, my main plan probably will be to roll into next week, maybe get a... Maybe do Son and Son and Bradley out and get a Van Dijk and Eze and then possibly just do Haaland to Cunha in game week 34. That would give me 11. Or I just switch my goalkeepers next week and do the Son-Bradley move the week after. I'm tempted to get eight Nuri though. If I get if I do Bradley to eight Nuri this week and play him ahead of Doughty, I then free up a Liverpool spot and instead of Eze, I can buy Diaz. But then it's eight Nuri and Diaz versus Van Dijk and Eze, and I think the Van Dijk Eze combination is better. But um, I don't know. It's quite close. Play Neto or Dubravka both away, right? Um, I'll probably go Neto. I think. Uh, shout out to. Hmm. I feel like I feel like you're with with your username. I feel like you're trying to get me with a name. I saw as got got on yesterday. I feel I I feel I'm not gonna say that name. I feel like I can't. I don't know. I feel like you're you're trying to get me. Um, but shout out to that person. I'm the only one not on Palmer captaincy hype. 12 months, thank you very much. Uh, no, there'll be plenty of people that don't captain him, but I think he'll be the most popular. I need to almost say that name out loud. No, I'm not, gonna, I'm not saying it. I'm going to Google it first. I don't want to get caught out like has. <laughs> it's probably just a normal name. It's probably just someone's name, and they're probably fine. Yeah, exactly. Drew. I saw as. Uh, best second Chelsea attacker. Probably... Jackson, but the yellow card situation is not good. He's on nine. Uh, bench, and I think he's got to get through 34 as well. Uh, bench one, Gusto, Brantwaite, Zabani, Gabriel. Zabani. Play Sarabi or Mateta. Uh, Sarabi uh, this week, right? Palace have got, um, yeah, Man City at home. Thoughts on Ortega as a Kelleher replacement? I'd rather just keep Kelleher, to be honest. Edison's probably going to be back in the squad. It's frustrating because Chelsea will get into the box a lot more against Sheffield United and penalty shouts are likely, but Forest Spurs will be a much more open game. Do you think it'll be that open? I'm not sure it will be. I think Nottingham Forest can sit in when they want to. I feel like the Spurs, for, to be open, I feel like Spurs might have to score early. And if they don't, then it could be a bit of a pain. But maybe I'm wrong. Uh, Man United with so many defenders injured. Casemiro possibly out. Salah will feast. He probably will, yeah. I mean, he could be up against... Um, like Man United are probably going to play... Um, I'm having a blank. Uh, Wan-Bissaka left back. Is that ideal? Probably not. Oh my gosh, it's going to be... It's going to be horrible. 
Salah not passing the eye test. What about the Brighton game? It was literally two games ago. He looked like he was going to score a hat trick. Why do we even have so many options at 10? Our bench is going to be stacked. It's going to be stacked for attackers, yeah. I think when people go on, when people talk about, you know, England have got to win a trophy, they've got the best squad. I feel like that's maybe true, but a lot of the squad is just stacked in attack. Once you go further back, it gets worse. Like the midfield, like I know everyone's super hyped about Mayno, and I think he's really good, but I'm not sure he's this this um, savior of the England third midfield spot. I think I think it's still a little bit of a problem. And then you go further back, it just gets worse. But yeah, if it was if it was just all about attack, England are in a great position. Uh, Sarah Richardson to who have free hit thirty four. Uh, prob I mean, someone like Gordon Foden, Man United midfielder, maybe, if you can bench them for now. If you do Diaz and Eight Nuri, who'd you transfer out? Uh, probably, Bra well, Bradley and Son, right? Play two, Zabani, Brantford, Eight Nuri, and Cunha. Ooh, Cunha and Eight Nuri, I think. Is Palmer going on the wall this season? I don't know. Like, everyone's owned him for a long time now, haven't they? Curtis Jones not getting in the England squad. And by the way, I don't think he, I don't think it's because he's bad or anything. I just think it's probably too late this year now. Just because of when he got injured. I think he just got very unlucky. I think he would have deserved to have been in that last squad. I can't understand how people want Maynu to start. Well, I can understand why. I just don't... I think he's good. I think he's maybe even good enough to start. I just don't mean he's this saviour. And... I don't think we do. I don't think we have an ideal third midfielder alongside Rice or or um, Bellingham. I think they're they're all a slight problem in different ways. Could we just not get a Rodri or Busquets this English, please? That would be great. Which three to start between Gabriel, Udogi, Eight Nuri? Look, I think if you've got Eight Nuri, I think you're playing him right. You have to. And then you've got to play the fixtures, I think. So Doggy and Branthwaite probably ahead of Gabriel. Declan Rice is not a Busquets or Rodri, I don't think. But he is um he is damn good and I love him and I love the fact it's English because oh, I was probably shouldn't say that. There's probably a lot of uh, Ireland Irish people watching. Um but uh yeah, he's great. Have Poro, Double Arsenal, Zabani, and Burke. No free hit 34 and need to boost double ups. I need to free up cash. Would you sell an Arsenal defender? And... Well, if you're not free hitting 34, why would you sell Arsenal defenders? Just to get cash. Maybe. I'd rather sell Poro, though, who's going to blank in 34. Again, I, w I wouldn't want to do that this week. So preferably you just roll and do it next week. Is anyone else packing their challenger team with United and Liverpool defenders and playing 5 3 2 and hoping for a 0 0? Uh, there is a league, yeah. I should put it in the description at some point. Uh, I'm probably more likely to play Liverpool and Man United attackers and just not have any defenders, maybe. How locked am I on Palmer? I'm not really. I don't know. I think... Um, I don't know. I, I kind of want to go Salah, but I'm probably just going to go Palmer. Maybe it's just a safe, boring play. Maybe I'm just a terrible FBL manager. Prefer Odegaard and Saka. Yeah, I know, but that, that's fine. But that's a lot of moving around, right? You ain't got many transfers. No point in coming off double defence. Like, I'd rather Saliba and Eze than a Palace defender and Odegaard, that's for sure. What do you think about Maguire for the rest of the season? I mean, with the amount of injuries he's got to start when he's fit at the moment, and he's cheap... Um, but looking at the fixtures, like, I mean, they're, they're pretty good from 34 onwards. I, I, don't, I don't hate it as a pick. If you've got the money, I, I think I'd prefer Dallow, though. I don't think there was anything mentioned about Salah fitness. I think most people just said he wasn't playing that well. Maybe he wasn't playing well because he's still got an injury. I don't know. Uh, but you, you've got to think Salah's going to get really good minutes against Man United. Like, I think against Sheffield United, okay, he's not playing well, but you've got other players that can go and win you that game. I think against Man United, he's going to get, you know, 80 plus, you'd imagine. The only reason I'm not captaining Palmer is because he's just scored a hat trick. Is this poor logic? Uh, probably, yeah. 
I kind of want to go Son. I, I kind of want to go Son. Uh, bench Saka or Jackson. I mean, if you've got Jackson, I'd probably play him. If you've got Eight Nuri, who do you play? Play Eight Nuri. The my team probably over Doughty, I guess. How do I feel about McAllister as a differential for gaming 34? I get, like, I've said this a lot. I like him for his price, but I don't, um, I don't think he's, I don't think he's part of the best three Liverpool options. How early do you reckon City team, team leaks will come? Um, uh, I'm not sure. Probably in the next 45 minutes, I guess. About 45 minutes, they'll probably start to come in. I mean, they, they'll definitely come out. Um, We'll see. We'll see. I think Man United will score, yeah. I'd love Foden to be benched. I, I'd love. This is what I would love. I'm sorry, Foden owners. I'd love Foden to be benched, but I'd love us not to find out ahead of the deadline. No, that's that's the dream. I just can't take another. I can't take another game week's worth of punishment. Uh, Oliver, thank you very much. Would you sell Virgil Van Dijk for Gusto on free hit 34 and wild card 35? Uh, yeah, I'd be tempted by that. I think Gusto's fine as long as Reese James is out. How long is he going to be out for? Who knows? Who knows? Uh, someone asked what shirt is. Hashtag United shirt. It's not. A, it's not a. It's not an old school Liverpool shirt. I don't think I've ever worn a Liverpool shirt, as you can imagine. I think Son is the most likely to blank at the main midfield five, maybe second after Saka. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I think it's just one of those days where Harlan gets a hat trick and we all have him captain next week. Well, I am going to captain him next week. Um, in, unless there's any unless there's any doubts about him starting, like for game week thirty three, it's it's Harlan against Luton at home. Sa Salah against Palace at home is also good. Saka wouldn't be bad. I mean, Palmer wouldn't be bad either. But next week, if Harlan if we think Harlan starts, I'm, I'm captain him against Luton. I think that's a almost a no brainer for me. Uh, I feel like Brandy to 8 Nuri has bigger upside than rolling. Yeah, maybe, but it all depends on whether stuff happens next week. Like, if there's no chaos next week, like, if Darwin doesn't get a yellow card or there's no injury or suspension, then, yeah, I probably should have just used the transfer this week. But, um, I don't know. I don't know if I want to push myself to... The thing is, I, if I get 8 Nuri in, I should sell Bradley. But I don't know if I want to do that. Because if Bradley's playing in 33, that's a good fixture, right? So, I'm going to roll. Um, I don't know. I think deep down, you know, Salah is the pick, but maybe even deeper, you do not want Salah to score a hat trick against your beloved Man United. I mean, I don't want him to score a hat trick, but that doesn't really, it doesn't bother me captaining players against Man United. Like, me captaining Salah does not mean Man United are going to lose, right? I'm not really bothered about that. I, I don't know. Maybe Salah's like, I think, so again, I think Palmer's going to be the highest captained, and I think Son's going to be the differential. So maybe I just go in the middle and go for Salah. Maybe that's just the way to go. Because I think Salah will be a slightly more differential to Palmer. Not a lot in it. But not quite as differential as Son, maybe. I really don't know. I'll tell you one thing, though. After Salah and Haaland the last season or two, it's not fun watching Man United get battered and then also not have... Or, or and also know you've been battered in FPL as well. Uh, Saka or Gordon to start. I think Gordon for safety, I guess. Transfer Bradley to Aitnuri. Nuri. Uh, you could do that, yeah. Man United will park the bus. Man United can't park the bus. They're not. I don't think they're good enough to do that. Uh, they, they might try. It's at home, though, so... Imagine James without all the injuries. So many England players that could have been world class. Yeah, but unfortunately, availability is a big factor, and, and Rhys James is just never available. Like, Reese James would easily be the first choice right back for England if he was fully fit. Easily. I mean, he's, he's definitely the best choice. He's like the hybrid between Trent and, and Walker. And I don't think many people would argue again. I, I mean, I'm sure there'd be, like, some Liverpool fans that would argue for Trent and stuff, but I think most people would agree that um, 
it'd probably be Reese James. They parked the bus at Anfield and got in it. Yeah, but like, I, I don't think it's happening. The amount of injuries, you're at home. United bias ruins you. Honestly, I every time I I just know when someone says that it's just it's just they're just worth ignoring. That's how I know who to mute and block. They say to me, "Oh, it's your Man United bias," as if like Captain in Palmer against Sheffield United is a bad idea. Walker is the Walker is nowhere near clear of Reese James. Reese James provides all the speed and the defensive work like Walker, but he's much much better in attack. So. If Reese James was fully fit, he'd be ahead of Walker. But he's never fit, right? And that's one thing for Walker. He's always available, apart from the fact he's injured right now. <laughs> uh, what percentage did you put on Salah having penalties versus McAllister? 99% sure. I mean, McAllister's arguably a better option, but I don't think Salah gives them up. Salah's your all-time FPL player in the set. Yeah, I know. I've captained Salah against Man United before. It's just, uh, it's just nonsense, really. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, bench Sacker or Jackson? Oh, I think I would play Jackson because you're pretty sure he's going to start and it's Sheffield United away. It sounds crazy saying that, but I think that's what I think that's what I would put it. Uh, if Man United win, I will send you five memberships. I don't think we're getting five memberships. Is Liverpool going to win. Uh, James massively overrated defensively. So is Walker. Uh, maybe, but like he's he's not a bad defender. I don't think I don't think he's worse than Walker. But that's the point. But he's much better in attack. Uh, Reese James is nowhere near Trent's level on the ball. Uh, that's why I said he's a hybrid of of Walker and Trent. Honestly, if if you told me right now Reese James could stay fit for the entire Euros and play ninety minutes every game and not get injured, uh, it, it's it's an easy pick for me. It's not even a discussion, in my opinion. But that will not happen, so it's not even worth discussing. <laughs> it's going to be Kyle Walker. Um, do not start Jackson ever, and I'm a Chelsea fan. I'd start him against Sheffield United. Is McAllister the fourth best Liverpool option then? Uh, no, I'd say he's... So I'd have Darwin, Salah, Diaz, Van Dijk ahead of him. Is he maybe the fifth best option? Possibly. Depends how long Alisson's out for. Start Carlton Morris or Saka? <laughs> I mean, probably, maybe Carter Morris, to be sure. I mean, who, the people think Saka's going to get bent. I think he's going to start. I, I just can't be 100% sure about that. Start Gordon or sell Gross to Foden and start him. I'd probably just start Gordon and save the transfer for now. When is the perfect time to wildcard? I mean, it depends on your team. If you've not wildcarded already, you're probably going in 35. From a Welsh guy, well, you're definitely you're definitely not biased against England then. Everyone in England needs to calm down. They do not have the best squad, but it's very good. They probably won't win it, but that's fine. Yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm with you, to be honest. I think overall, our, our squad probably attack-wise is, is probably the best. But yeah, elsewhere, it, it gets a lot worse, like I said. Uh, we, we could win it, I would say. Doesn't mean we will. We we definitely I think we are definitely in the top three teams of the Euros. I I don't think that's really up for debate. Maybe that's a bit cocky. I don't know, but I think this idea I hate I hate this idea that if we don't win it, it's a, it's like this massive failure. Obviously, you you go there to win, but like the idea that France are just pushovers, like it's just it's nonsense, absolute nonsense. Yeah, it's not coming home. It could come home. <laughs> uh, will Trent be fit for game week 34? It's definitely a possibility. Italy going back to back. Oh, man. I, I was watching... I watched the penalty shootout the other day. I don't know why I do this to myself. And again, just watching Rashford send Donnarumma the wrong way and then miss. Oh. I'll take it. Um... <laughs> Georgia could win. Yeah, I know. I get it. I get it. I get it. Anyway, I can't. I can't be dealing with England chat. It's too. Uh, Maguire's penalty was so good, so good. 
the thing is, I, I wouldn't, if he took it like that again, I wouldn't be so confident he'd, he'd hit it in the back of the net. But it, it was amazing. But when he stepped up second, I was, oh my god. The Miss Kane penalty against France feels worse. I don't know. I don't, I, for me, the Rashford penalty is worse. Like, it, like I'm not, not blaming Rashford or anything like that, but I just think I think we would have been 2-1 up and we would have taken second, I believe. I think Italy had missed at that point. And then, and then Rashford, oh, killer, killer. I think Kane missing against France. You, I think you're, I think you're, um, I think it was more shocking that that happened, but you're in a final. Oh yeah, I was panicking when Maguire stepped up, honestly. If you continue with all this negative Bradley talk, I may need to switch over to Fantasy 606. Bradley's obviously still and always will be the number one pick ahead of Salah. Ah, come on, come on. Do you really think he's going to start? Like, do you, do you have inside info that he's starting? Because I'm not completely confident. I hope he starts against Palace, though. I thought the game against France was England's best game on the South. I don't think we were that bad in that game, no. I just, like, what that, who scored that? Was it Tua mainly that scored that long-range shot? Oh, such a killer. completely agree on the idea that not winning not winning it is a failure every team that wins it needs a bit of luck yeah like don't get me wrong you, you get to the semi-final or final you lose you don't go out celebrating because you got that far of course you don't but I, I just don't like this narrative that it's just like it's england's to win and and no one else can even come close because that is that's just complete nonsense anyway let's get off england chat stop baiting me into england chat it's too easy for you um, play two of Van Dyke, Pau Torres, Doughty, and Zabani. I'd probably bench the. Oh, play two. Uh, Doughty and Pau Torres, I think. Biggest debate on Wildcard 35 is third Spurs or Chelsea. So, yeah, there's lots of decisions to make on Wildcard 35 to most. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to ignore it all until 35, I think. I have kind of been looking at it, I'll be honest, but there's no point because there might be injuries that. Kind of change our minds. I, I really want Trippier fit by 35. If he's not, that also becomes a bit of a problem because you don't really want two other Newcastle defenders. But if Trippier's fit, I might go for like Trippier and Burn. Something like that. Uh, what do you think of free hit 34, wildcard 30? I don't see the point in wildcard. And... Oh, okay. Wildcard 36, bench boost 37. I have three Spurs and two Chelsea already. Okay, so you're going to keep them, free hit them, and then you'll have five. Um, The plan is to get Jackson at 37. Yeah, that could work. If you're already loaded with Spurs and Chelsea players and you're not selling them, which presumably you wouldn't be this week anyway, then, um, yeah, that could work. I think most people are going to wildcard 35 because they haven't got they're not going to have Chelsea and Spurs players, basically. But yeah, that, that could work. Uh, no news yet, no. I and mean, we've still got an hour to go, so next half an hour or so, I suspect it will come. Oh, hang on. What, what's, this, what's this thing Liverpool have just tweeted about? Salah shares the secrets behind his elite mindset. I do sometimes. So Salah said, I sometimes when I wake up, I sit at the edge of the bed or edge of a chair and sit straight, your back straight, you close your eyes and you visualize what you want to achieve. I'll tell you what, I'll do that right now. Back straight. I want to achieve a green arrow this week. Come on. Let's get that. I'm not taking a bit, by the way. There's a reason he's one of the best players in the world. I'd love a green arrow, though. Back straight. I thought that was. I thought. I thought the article was going to be something about um, that he's been struggling with something. I don't have time to read it, or maybe it is. But uh, isn't Gakpo due a start? I, I just don't think you start. You, I don't think you play Darwin for ninety, so you can play Gakpo against Man United. I just don't see it. I think Gakpo's just not very good, or at least hasn't played very well for for Liverpool. I, Darwin Nunes is clearly first choice number nine at the moment. Maybe it changes a little bit with Jota back. Uh, bench Moon, Meniz for Gordon. I'd play Meniz, I think. Um, Darwin and Richarlison to Cunha and Foden for free. Uh, 
No, don't think so. I, w I wouldn't want to get rid of Darwin, I don't think. What, how's the captaincy split right now? So in the poll, we've had 10,000 votes. Palmer is 42%, Salah's 28%, Haaland's 18 and then someone else, Foden, Sonic, etc., 12 This is what I mean. Palmer's definitely going to be the highest captain. Maybe Haaland's the differential. Uh, what did you think about Salah not shaking Klopp's hands on me? I, I didn't see it because I was at my son's football match, but... um. I don't think there's anything to really worry about. I like players get annoyed when they get subbed. It happens. I'm sure they've put it behind them. I kind of need to captain Son and hope he hauls differential in my middle league, but everyone has Salah, Palmer, Harlan, and Foden. Should I play it safe? 20, po 20 points is nothing. Whether you play it safe is really up to you. Like, how are you going to cope if you captain Son and it doesn't work out? Is that going to annoy you more than the other way around? Like going, uh, going for, yeah, oh no, obviously it wouldn't annoy you if Son does well, but you know what I mean? The poll is biased because people are looking at your squad. Well, I, I didn't have, for most of those votes, I didn't have Palmer captain. I had Son. If Harlan's out again, am I selling? Good question. Good question. Um, I, do you know what? I haven't thought about that at all. I'm not, this is the first time all week. Uh, I, know, I know obviously we've had a half again, um, only half a week since the last game week, but I don't, I don't think so. I don't think I'm selling, but maybe I should be considering it. Um, I, I think I think the hesitation is because is because who would I who would I buy? Like, do I really want to buy like a Cunha or a Mateta this week? Probably not. I could go for Ezap, but that doesn't help me much for double gaming thirty four. That, that's the hesitation. I think I'd want to buy Ezat, but I'm not sure that's the best use of a transfer, really. So I'd probably just play Sarabia and bench Haaland and then reassess head of 33. If, like, you know, if I didn't have Ezak and he was doubling in 34, then I'd probably just do that. I, I, I honestly, I, I will... No, I'm not, no, I won't say that. I, I will be shocked if Haaland doesn't start. Absolutely shocked if he gets benched two games in a row. If he, If, if from what everyone was... Sorry. FPL Main Road on Twitter last week said when he was benched that it's not injury related. So if he's fit, I'll be shocked if he doesn't start again. I think there's almost zero chance it happens. But who knows? They played well against Villa. Maybe, maybe he will. Uh, Man United has three fit defenders. Does that sound right? Uh, no, I think that's wrong. They've got Dallo, Maguire, Wambasaka, and um, Cambuala. Varane Evans, Adouts. Lindelof's out, Shaw's out, obviously Martinez as well is always out. So they probably will have a back four, but it's it's very makeshift. Uh, is Harland essential this week? Uh, nope. Doubted to Gusto and Douglas Luiz to Gallagher for a minus four. I, I don't think Gallagher is deserving of a minus four, to be honest. Uh, bench one of Odegaard, Foden and Meniz. I, I would much rather play Douglas Luiz this week than Gallagher. Bench one of Odegaard, Foden, and Meniz. Uh, maybe Meniz. Bench two of Gusto, Gabriel, Vardio, Romero. I think you just play Gusto and Romero. Go on, actually, Darwin, Lascelles out. Foden, Archer, eight, and Uri in. Mm, that doesn't sound great to me. You can just sell Lascelles if you've got some money. Vardio or Kanji for the rest of the season. Ah. <sighs> I really don't know is the honest answer. I'll say Vardiol because Aki's out for a little while, but long-term, who knows with Man City defenders, uh, for a minus four. I would just sell the sales for free, I think. Play one, Semenya or Gibbs-White. Uh, Bournemouth away to Luton, Gibbs-White, obviously away to Spurs. I'd probably play Gibbs-White, penalties and all that. Uh, I'd play Poro out of the defenders, I think. Uh, weekend newspaper predicts Cambuala and Maguire is the centre backs in the back four. Yeah, I think it has to be that. <laughs> I don't think there is any other options unless he's going to play like Fernandez or McTominay um, in that position. Don't see it though. Would you bench Van Dyke for Zabani? I'm not sure I would, to be honest. Uh, Watkins fit, we don't know. I think they're going to um, 
decide today, basically. Have I decided my captain yet? Maybe, maybe I'll just go boring and go Palmer. I kind of want Palmer to fail, though. So I, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm lost. I'm lost. Uh, it was nil nil at Anfield and Varane Evans played. Yeah, but like, I got. I got to be honest. I can't really remember the match. Uh, what happened? So I'm going to look up the stats for that game. Like, how often do Man United going to go to Anfield, Anfield and get a nil nil? Yeah, so in that game, they conceded 2.3 expected goals. Man United. So, a nil nil was pretty low. There's loads of games where Man United should have conceded more. I remember the Everton game? Um, that Everton absolutely battered us. Like Man, Man United have been so lucky this season. They're, they're, they're so much worse in their league position. Big up Anana, because he's had a really good season. Starting to talk myself into Harlan captain. I mean, Harlan's great, yeah. But I think Palmer gets rested. I think there's no chance of that, to be honest. I mean, there's always a chance, of course, before anyone says it, but no, I don't, don't see it. Man United are 15th on expected goals. Again, it's actually worse on um, for non-penalty expected goals. They're actually it's 18th, I think. Which is absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, they're 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 fifteenth uh, or sixteenth. Sorry, sixteenth for expected goals conceded. Although they're joint with Burnley. I, it's, honestly, it's so bad. If you removed penalty expected goals and base results on that, Man United would be 15th and Chelsea would be 4th. I don't know if Man United are the 15th worst team. I'm not sure what the expected goal difference is. Chelsea are 5 points back high Man United with a game and I can't believe we let that off. I, I, I can't have Chelsea going ahead of us. That's the one saving grace this season. Man United have been terrible, but somehow Chelsea are still behind. They probably shouldn't be. Start Raya or Petrovic? Uh, Petrovic, I think. What am I going to do if Salah's not available and we get early team news that Haaland doesn't start again? Uh, probably do Bradley to wait Nuri. Maybe just keep Saka and Haaland. But I'm not... I don't know. I don't really want to think about that. I could just roll even if both of those players are out. I, I guess the problem for me would then be, well, if Saka's out again, what does that mean for game week 34? I probably should think about these things a little bit more because I don't want to have to last minute it. I mean, maybe Saka to Odegaard. Could be an option. Because I'm dead ending 34, so I need doublers for that week. The latest um, Huang update is that he could be in the... I think he's going to be in the squad or, or possibly possibly going to be in the squad, but I, he's not going to start, I don't think. <laughs> uh, any Foden news? Not yet. I, I would expect in about 20 minutes the, the Man City news will probably start coming through. Uh, would you play Bradley over any of Gabriel Gusto and Udogi? Uh, no, probably not. I, I, again, I'm not super convinced he's going to start. I could be wrong on that. Surely song captain, he hauls every second week. But that, like, that's just not a thing. It, like, it might have happened. It doesn't mean he's going to keep happening, right? Simply FPL member for 20 months. Thank you very much. Might sack, might sack it to Foden this week. Free, yeah, I think that's okay. If you're going to free hit 34, I don't mind that. I mean, if you can, obviously, wait for as long as possible to see if we get early team news. But um, personally, I think Foden will probably start the next two. Whilst also hoping that he doesn't. Is it possible to catch a 100-point lead between now and the end of the season? It's, it's possible, but... 
How weird. Um, it's possible, but um, I wouldn't be super confident on it. I, I guess the more chips and stuff you've got, the the better. Isn't the rule to always captain the home fixture if you're not sure about who to captain? I know, that is playing on my mind, but... I don't know. I don't know. I wish I could help. I, I wish I could help with your captain decision this week, but I, I really, I'm just struggling. It's almost like take your pick for the narrative. You go Palmer, it's Sheffield United away, and he's done really... Like, it's a great fixture. He's done really well against other... You know, teams that are in and around the bottom of the table. Go for Song because he's got the home fixture. Go for Song because he's a differential. Go for Haaland because he's due a goal. Um, don't go for Haaland because it's the early fixture. Go for Salah because Man United are terrible. Don't go for Salah because, you know, maybe this will be the game Man United show up for. Like, take your pick of the narratives and just go from there. And just accept that it could go wrong. But that's, that's easier said than actually done. I'm ten I, I don't know, I just I just want to go against Palmer, I think. I'm just tempted to go against him. I don't know if I should. Because if I if I don't captain Palmer and he does really well, it's like of course it was Sheffield United. Like you were just looking for reasons not to go for him. In Challenger, would you agree it's risky to pick anyone from the last game of the week until all other games are played as it stops you doing the last minute emergency sub, e.g. no Son this week? Um, I, I, don't, I don't think it's risky. I mean, yeah, I don't think it's risky, but I think you just put them on the bench, right? If you had Son, you would just bench him and you'd play someone else ahead of him. And if that player does really well, you just don't let him auto-sub on. Have I got that right? No, no, other way around, I think. You play Son, you you put... No, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, you put players in the team that are playing later, and you put players on the bench that are playing earlier, and if the early player does really well, you just you just change Son to, like, a, a dud, basically. And then the player on your bench will auto-sub on. They will change that at some point. As a United fan, go Salah captain. If he hauls, then it's something to soften the blow. If not, chances are Man United might get a result. Yeah, that's another way of looking at it. Does Son play in the last game of the game we ever have, a, have an effect on your thinking? Um, it shouldn't do, but I, I did look when they were playing, uh, and I did think it would be nice if everyone else is blanking into, into 6 p.m., but that, that shouldn't have any bearing, really. I don't know. Maybe I'll ask Praz, see what Praz is doing. I'm gonna ask him now. I'll go I'll go with whatever Praz says. He's probably not watching. Let's see if he replies on Twitter. Oh, he's not tweeted his team. He's not tweeted his team. Praz is gonna be my savior. Uh start Luis Diaz or Darwin. Ooh. How many minutes did Luis Diaz get midweek? Did he come off early? Oh, he played 90 as well. Wow. I'm going to say Darwin. I think he's quite close. No, I, do you know what? His gap could come on at some point. I don't know. Flip a coin. Uh, I'm going to say Darwin. Uh, bench one, Gusto, Aiton, Yuri, Doggy, or Saliba. Saliba, Madison, Tony, Meniz, bench one. Uh, Meniz, bench boost on Gordon, Udogi, Dubravka, and Taylor. I think you'll probably have better later on in the season, to be honest with you. Yeah, I think Darwin over Lewis Diaz. Is Palm Palmer is your final decision? And nothing's locked in until the deadline. I, I don't know. I mean, what looks... It does look quite nice going for Captain Palmer. Is Salah being too clever? I mean, Son looks quite nice too. I mean, Harlan, I've barely even put the armband on him, but look how good that looks. It wasn't long ago. Actually, has Harlan ever been permanent? Have we have we had the permanent Harlan discussion at all this season? Has he done well at any point, like so well that he's permanent captain? Probably not. 
Or maybe here. Three against Man United, three against Chelsea, one against Liverpool, two assists against Spurs. Even if people started asking me this week whether Palmer should be permanent captain, I really don't think um, we're that far. I don't think we're at that point. That's what I'm trying to say. Nah, I'm not. No interest in Solanke personally. Like, he's not. He's not bad, but I don't think so. I, mean, I hope. I hope Solanke does well. Uh, bench one of Sakasan, Jackson, Darwin, Solanke, Gordon, Saka probably. Just hope for hope for the best that he's benched, even though I don't think he will be. Do, 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 do. I, I've got no interest in captain in Solanke. Zero, to be honest. I mean, anyone could be a nice differential, but Saka could be a nice differential, to be honest. People aren't just going to change their... Not everyone watching is just going to change their captain because I changed mine. What to do if I've missed a donation message? Mods, mods. Um, have I missed one? Oh, I did, yeah. Start menus or Morris? Uh, I, I, uh, Morris is on penalties, but you know, I think I'd go Meniz. Keep or sell Saka Madison. I've got free hit 34. Uh, probably Saka in that case, I think. Do, 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 do. Sell Bailey for Palmer or Roll? I would get Palmer in if you don't already own him. Keep in mind he's playing Arsenal away in 34, but I really don't think it's the end of the world, even if you're not free-hitting. Doesn't mean he starts, but saw Saka has travelled. Yeah, I'm, I mean, again, I'm pretty confident he's going to be in the squad. I think he will start, but I, I don't, don't know. Would you bench Saka if you had Gordon? I mean, I think it's the safer play, but I don't know if I would. To be honest, I, I think I think he'll play. Oh, Foden's not starting according to the FPL newsletter, aka Lazy FPL. Phil Foden does not start for Man City. And that's why I kept on, you know, guaranteed minutes. Not guaranteed hat tricks, unfortunately. I guess the questions are now going to be what to do with Foden. Um, oh, he's been bought in by nearly 500,000 people this week. The knee jerking. Uh, I think it was an Egypt, yeah. I mean, 500,000 chances in after a hat trick. That's pretty knee jerky, yeah. <clears throat> he probably will come off the bench, yeah. There's a lot of people that definitely weren't considering getting phone until he hit that hat trick. I don't think it was necessarily a bad choice to buy him. Honestly, it doesn't even matter, right? If you had Foden in his bench this week, you like two things. You've already got a hat trick, and you now know he's not starting, so you can just play someone else instead. Like it's a perfect position to be in. Now we'll probably start against Luton, which is the better fixture. So if you've got Foden, you're in a good position. I mean, if you've just bought him, it's not ideal, but for everyone else, you're probably good. Uh, play Morris instead of Foden. Yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd pretty much play anyone ahead of Foden now that's going to get minutes. Sheffield United have conceded 21 in their last five home games. Yeah, they're pretty bad. Uh, start Bowen or Miniz. Um oh, I don't know. I'm going to say... I'm going to say Bowen. Just bench Foden and start Miniz. Yep, start Mateta or Zabani if Foden bench. Mm, that's probably a bit closer. Uh, in that case, I'd, al I'd almost be tempted to play Foden. I'd probably play Mateta, I guess. It's, it's a home to Man City. Like, you're not going to get that many chances. 
Would I start Alangra or Morris over Alangra, I think? Keeping in mind difficult fixtures for Brighton. Gross to Luis Diaz, is it a good move? Wildcard save for 35. Yeah, don't mind that move at all. I'm quite happy with that now. I'm ha and the thing is, Foden being bench makes me happier about the decision to keep Son. But as I've tweeted, it's great to have the minutes, but I'd much prefer the points. Uh, Saka to Gordon, free hitting in 34. Robinson to Van Heck, bench, bench until 37, or burn the transfer. I'd probably do Robinson to Van Heck, I think. I wouldn't burn the transfer. As long as you're not planning on starting Robinson this week, of course. Is that Cunha or Garnacho? Probably Cunha, just about. Back on Western Seafront post park run. Nice, nice. Blown away. Yeah, there's storm here. Though it doesn't sound that bad, to be honest. We've got an orange storm woman, but it sounds okay. Where I am, anyway. Why is no one talking about Foden as captain? I can't imagine. I can't imagine. Start Foden or Garnacho? Garnacho. Foden might not even come on. Like, he could come on for 20, 30 minutes and get, get, um, get returns, but I wouldn't. I'd rather play someone else that you pretty much know is going to start. How reliable is the FPL Foden source? Pretty reliable. They have had news before on Man City that was wrong about Alvarez. But um, I, I pretty much trust that. I think. Like, if I had Foden and I had, like, Moniz, that would be enough to bench Foden for me. Like, I'd trust it that much. Um, I wonder where the person is that used to sometimes give me... Ma oh, to be honest, though, by the way, like, FPL Tony and, and FPL Main Road will almost certainly tweet later anyway to confirm it. So we will, we'll find out before the deadline. Just about when they start tweeting it. Yeah, look, uh, Salah's a great captain. You should go for him if you want to go for him. I'm not, I'm not really not trying to talk people out of it. I think they're all pretty good. One thing, though, I, I probably wouldn't... I, I don't think anyone's really asked, but I wouldn't... I don't think I'd sell... Like, if you've got a good bench, I wouldn't sell Foden because he'll probably start against Luton now. Uh, Pedro or Doughty for Foden? Uh, João Pedro? Is it? I'd probably play him. Start Van Dijk or Udoggy? Udoggy. Free hit 34, wildcard 36. Douglas Luiz to Brennan Johnson. Or, I wouldn't go Brennan Johnson, I don't think. And I wouldn't be massively convinced um, that he'll keep his place necessarily. Which is the main problem. Roll the transfer or take Bradley out for Gusto. I'd roll if you got three good defenders. I think Saka will start, but I don't have I don't have like any inside info about that. Oh, interesting. So Praz has replied to me. He's um he's he's captain in Salah. Captain in Salah. Why is everyone suddenly backed away from Son? Uh there is a bit of recency bias for sure. Praz is captain in Salah, so maybe I should do the same.
I did say I would do what Prance is doing. He's oh, Captain in Salah. I reckon, I wonder what his thought process is. I reckon it's the slightly differential to Palmer, but not quite as differential as Son. But in the middle, Man United defence. Oh, he said it was between Son and Salah for me anyway. Oof. So he's not even interested. He's not even interested in Palmer. Is Palmer going to make the wall this season? I don't think so. Uh, I would do if you could. Do, well, yeah, okay. If you could do Foden to Salah, I'd probably sell Foden. But for most people, you'd probably just bench him, keep him for Luton at home. I mean, that's a really good fixture, right? I'm so glad about that after last week. I'm sorry, Foden owners. But like we've been punished enough already. I don't want to be punished again. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, getting the leak now so they can uh, adapt to it. That's what I mean. That's what I said earlier. I wanted him to be benched, but I didn't want us to find out. But um, that is what it is. Is what it is. I'm, to be honest, I'll be hoping for news next week about Haaland. Bench Gabriel or Doggy Gabriel. Uh, I'd probably play Gabriel and Udogi ahead of Foden, I think. He's benched because of the Champions League. Could easily be benched next week as well. I, I don't think so, but yeah, possibly. I don't. Have I captain Palmer in a previous game? I'm not sure I've captain Palmer at all this season, but I could be wrong. Do you have that graphic handy that shows both teams expected goals this week? The Y usually show up, but no pod from them could be handy. Is that the one from Rob? Is that Rob T's graphic? Um, I don't know if he's tweeted that. Uh, can I just save this? Your feeling is that Foden play. I mean, the info might be wrong, but they're usually pretty good. Um, there, there, there was someone, there was someone that um used to sometimes send me some Man City info, but they haven't messaged me for a while now. I'm not even sure I can. Oh yeah, yeah, it hasn't messaged me since January. Yeah. No, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure I'd be right. So, um, yeah, hang on. I think I found it. I think I think I found what you were looking for. Is it me you're looking for? Oh, hang on. Jesus Christ, where is it? Oh, I've lost it again. I thought I saved it, but maybe not. Save image. Oh, I did save it. Why is it not showing up then? Oh, hang on. Downloads. Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> this picture, right? So this is from Rob Rob T FPL on Twitter. Make sure you go and follow him. Nice guy. Post nice graphics like this. So this is the projected goals for Man City, 2.25. For Arsenal, it's 2.1. Chelsea's 2.5. Liverpool, 2.35. And Spurs is 2.45. So Spurs is pretty Spurs is pretty high up. Nearly as high as Chelsea. But then Son is a bit more of a differential. Um, go and follow Rob, by the way, if you're not already. Rob T F P L on Twitter. In fact, I'll just link his, I'll just link his profile in the chat. There we go. Um, and there's also the there's also this one as well. Let me just let me just take this one. There's also this graphic. This is the final goal projections. This is the odds. 
Haaland, then Son, then Salah, then Palmer. I think I'm going to go against Palmer. And just hope for the best. Just hope for the best. Uh, anyway. Yeah, Foden bench, yeah. Um, in fact, let me just put that in a ticker a second. Foden bench. All right, sorry, I probably missed a few messages here. Okay, where are we at now? Oh my days. Um, roll the, oh, I did that one. Double Arsenal defence or double Chelsea defence? This week, Chelsea, I think. Uh, bench Gabriel Uri Doggy. Oh, no, I did that one. Thoughts on minus four for Castagna to eight and Uri? If not, then it's either Castagna, Regulon, or Luca Dean. Uh, I'd probably just play Castagna, I guess. I wouldn't take a minus four either way. Rob, thank you very much. Uh, Lastilav, start eight Yuri Zabani, eight Yuri Yosip, thank you very much. Uh, Mo, start Dubravka, Kelleher. Ah, uh, it's tight, that one. Kelleher. Uh, Kelleher. Start Doughty or eight Yuri, eight Yuri. Branthwaite or a second Arsenal defender, Kivy or Branthwaite. Lascelles to Hall or Van Heck. Need them for bench boost 37. I think you have to play it safe then and go Van Heck. Lewis Hall may or may not still be in the team by them. Probably will be, but it's not a guarantee. Uh, Yosef again, thank you very much. Who to start from Aiton Yuri, Bradley and Gordon? Gordon. Uh, Viz Academy, member for 30 months. Thank you very much. Thoughts on Zinchenko and his minutes going forward? Not enough, not good enough to buy. Uh, not good enough to buy. I wouldn't be, like, he might play again, but it could be Kivio, right? That's the problem. I'd be surprised if he starts again. Evil Andy. What did I do? What did I do? What did I do? Richardson start for Spurs. Son won't be out. To, uh, Richardson's probably going to be out this week. It, like it wasn't like hundred percent confirmed by Postecoglou, but what he said basically means he's going to be out. He's not going to start. Why doubt instead of Zabani? Home fixture, yeah, basically, and attacking potential as well. Start Slanky or Doughty? Slanky, Slanky, definitely. Uh, Bradley's third sub because I'm not convinced he's going to start and I think they'll concede. He could do really well if he does play though. Yeah, I might captain Salah. I don't know. I don't know. You have to bench Tony. What could go Tony for who? Oh, I don't know who. <laughs> I can't be bothered with this captaincy. The only thing is, we don't. We only see Haaland today. They're all playing tomorrow, otherwise. Maybe that's a good thing, actually. Maybe it's a good thing not to have any of uh, Salah, Palmer, or Son playing today. I think Salah's got the easier fixture. Which sounds, I hate having to say that, but I think he's got the easier fixture. But obviously, Son's at home. Where's the leak on Haaland? I don't think there has been one yet, has there? He's going to start. Surely. He's going to start. Rayo or Petrovic? Petrovic. Garnacho or Mikel Garnacho. Garnacho. Now, Mikelenko's good, but I don't know if he's that good. Bring in Aint Yuri for Taylor or roll and have Gabriel Porro Gustav. I'd roll, for sure. Like, Aint Yuri's good, but I mean, people, a lot of people have got good defences already. Uh, Zabani or Gabriel? Gabriel. Um, Zinchenko or Doughty? Doughty, because I don't think Zinchenko will start. Or I think there's enough risk there anyway. Wamba Saka on Salah, been done before. Yeah, could work. Rob, thank you very much. Uh, Garnacho Gusto. Garnacho. Code for the Challenge League. Uh, I'll, I'll post it later on. I have to look it up. I'll put it in the description at some point. <laughs> Worth going without a goalkeeper until game week 34? No. I would take a hit to get a goalkeeper in. Drop one. Van Dyke, Zabani, Gusto, Gabriel. Zabani, probably. Do I watch the IPL? Uh, nope, not really. It's either bench Tony or Morris. Um, yeah, fair enough. 
I'm not sure I would bench Tony, but I can see why. Start Ganacho over Foden. Yes, I would. Uh, best to worst, Kilman, Mikalenko, and Bradley. This week, it's probably Mikalenko, then Kilman, then Bradley, in my opinion. Uh, is Foden starting? Apparently not. Apparently not. Well, I've not had it, obviously, firsthand. I'm just going by what everyone else is seeing. Oh, someone just tweeted me. said they bought Foden 20 minutes ago. Ouch. I thought he was going to start. I thought he might start both games, but I guess quick turnaround. I got that wrong. Play one. Udogi, Bradley, Saliba, Gusto, 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 Gusto. Honestly, I, I'd be loving it if I had Gusto this week. Everyone wants to bench him. It'll be classic FPL now that Foden comes on and bangs the break. I mean, it could happen. Absolutely. I, I'd be, I expect he will probably come on. Um, Darwin to Archer so I can do Sarabia to Foden. Uh, Foden's apparently benched, so... No. Uh, strange, stranger man. Thank you very much. Member for 31 months. Appreciate it. Um, Ariola out to who for free? Raya, if you need someone for double game week 34. Start one of Tony, Meniz, or Madison. Only one. Oh my God. Tony, I think. Although benching Madison ahead of, uh, for not in a forest at home does not feel great. I'll be honest with you. How likely is it that De Bruyne comes off early for Foden? Uh, I think there's a chance, but obviously De Bruyne has just been rested, so I think there's a chance, yeah. That's why I think Foden will come off the bench. Start Saka, Luis Diaz, or Meniz. <laughs> I, I guess Luis Diaz for the start. I think Saka will play, though. Ray or Petrovic, Petrovic. Start Madison or Foden. I mean, one of them's benched, apparently. So I'd go, I'd go, uh, I'd go Madison, I think. How many times do I change my captain? A lot. Although, funnily enough, I've never really put it on Haaland. You have a possible, tra oh, now you have no possible transfer. Yeah. You're in a tricky position. No doubt about it. You might have to just force something and pray. Uh, we, we still don't know any more. I'm surprised we haven't had any leaks. Maybe maybe Tony and Main Road aren't doing it anymore. Maybe they've decided to have the, uh, the day off from leaking. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what you can force. I, I, I can't remember what your team is, but you might have to. Zabani or Bradley? Uh, Zabani for me. Honestly, I, th there's part of me that thinks if we don't get a leak about Haaland, there's almost part of me that wants to captain him because less people will do it then. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I went to Hoyland. That sounds horrible. But yeah, look, I don't know. Um, 2,888 overall. Very nice. 13th in New Zealand. Boom. You can get number one by the end of the season. Go for it. That's a nice, nice rank. Uh, Gross's first sub versus free transfer Gross to Rice. No, I wouldn't do that. Can't do Raya Pickford. Pickford for 34, yes. Probably the best cheap option, to be honest. Uh, and you get Bernie at home this week. Bench Bradley or Garnacho, Bradley. Uh, play Kabori over Foden or Huang out, Gordon in. Um, I'd maybe just play... I'd maybe just play Kabori, to be honest. It sounds crazy, I know, but... Bench on a Vardiol, ain't Yuri. Definitely Vardiol for me. Uh, bench two of Vardio, Udogi, Aintnuri, and Gabriel. 
Uh, Vardio probably had those. Mm, probably Vardio. Richarlison to Roger or Sarabia. Sarabia, yeah, I think. Zabani or Bradley Zabani. Uh, double Arsenal defence or, or double Chelsea defence. This week, I, I guess I would go double Chelsea this week. Captain Palmer or Solanke? Palmer. Ed, thank you very much. Already have Salah and no Spurs players. Luis Diaz to Brennan Johnson. I don't see why you would sell Luis Diaz. If you could have any goalkeeper this week, who are you picking? Any goalkeeper at all? Um, do you know what? It's, it's pretty horrible. There's, honestly, I don't know. Who, who's got the highest clean sheet odds this week? Because obviously... Um, Man City, etc. are away. I don't know if I would pick Raya with Brighton. Pickford, maybe, for Burnley at home. Just go for it. Maybe Vicario, but probably Pickford. Something like that. Uh, ben, thank you very much. Couldn't you start in? Only played 14 minutes the last game. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a risk, but I think he probably will play. But again, I, I couldn't guarantee you that. Darren, thank you very much. Which midfielder for 6.7 million that isn't Palmer? I mean, Eze, Sarabia for double game week 34. Depends when you need them for. McAllister, if you've got a spare Liverpool slot. Bring in Haaland for Tony. I mean, I'd rather have Haaland than Tony, yes. I guess it depends then what the knock-on effects are for future transfers and stuff like that. Ain't Nuri versus Gusto. Ooh. Ooh. I'd probably play Gusto. That's quite close. FPL Tony confirmed that Foden is on the bench. Okay, boom. It's definitely legit then. De Bruyne starts. Yeah, Foden's definitely out. Foden definitely out. Um, what's Tony's Twitter account? Now I would def yeah, I, I, uh, it, Foden's definitely done now. Uh, Struan, thank you very much for coming to member. I I would like I went I would say it's like ninety nine point nine nine percent certain now that Foden's benched. Like Tony Tony's got Man City news, had it for a long time. Ake for Gusto slash eight Nuri slash Brantford, no free hit or wild card. Ooh, probably Well, probably eight Nuri, I think, for the double soon. And he's also got a good fixture in 35. Then worry about it later. I don't know any other players. <laughs> I can only tell you what's been released. They don't usually release the whole team. They only do some, some stuff. I think in some cases it might still make sense to, bend, uh, to start phone. But it really depends who you've got. Like, if you've got... Like Meniz or Gordon or Garnacho or whoever it is, I'd start all of them. Sarabia over Foden. Bradley to burn. Lascelles to Liveramento. Lascelles, I don't think you can do Lascelles to Liveramento. Bradley to burn, maybe, yeah. If you're on free hit 34, I don't see a problem with that. Uh, sell Foden for a double game week player to fund Haaland. Did not buy Foden this week. Two frees. Um. Yes, although obviously Haaland could maybe be benched next week. It's possible. All right, who am I captaining? We've got 16 minutes left. Now, this is where we really have to like lock in the decisions now. Um, just joined any Haaland news. Nope. Bench, not yet. Bench two of Foden, Barkley, or Estepinian. See, now this is a tricky one because Estepinian is not it's just not guaranteed to start. And also it's Arsenal, right? And Barkley is an okay fixture. Like, would I, I, I guess I would... I guess I would play Barkley over Foden, just about. Uh, did Saka to Foden last night. Mike Reverse is still have a free transfer and free hit 34. And I don't think I need two free transfers next week. What do you think? I mean, it depends who you've got on the bench. If you've got a good bench option, you could just bench Foden. Basically, if you don't, then yeah, you could maybe reverse it or just play it safe with Odegaard or something like that. Best goalkeeper for someone with no chips left. Raya, maybe? Like the whole way through. Arsenal defence is pretty good. 
Uh, Sakura Morris. There's no one that doubles in 34 and 37, basically. Uh, Sakura Morris versus Gordon and he's at minus four. Sakura Morris, I think. As a Man United fan, you have to play Sarabia over Darwin. Uh, nope. Darwin's great. Uh, who is the best different? Who is the best replacement for Trippier? Already have Gabriel, but have space for one more Arsenal. Also, captain in Son as differential. Uh, ben White or S Saliba, if you want Arsenal, I guess it depends. If you're free hit thirty four, then I I would maybe go elsewhere, like Gusto maybe. But otherwise, I quite like bringing in another Arsenal defender. Any midfielder for this week and beyond seven million max. Yeah, Palmer <laughs> definitely. Um, I mean, how it depends how long you need them for after that. Gordon. Could be an option too. Garnacho. Uh, Morris or Zabani? Uh, Morris, for sure. For sure. Douglas Louise, Barkley or Zabani? Douglas Louise, probably. Uh, I, I'm definitely rolling as well. Because if, ha if Harlem misses out next week, that's a sell. That's a sell. For me. So I, I think I want to roll. If, if Darwin Nunez gets a yellow card this week, that's also then a worry ahead of game week 34. I'll, so I want to leave my options open. Uh, Edison's probably going to be in the squad. Only have wild card left. When's best to use? Now if your team's terrible, 34 or 35 if it's fine. Two free transfers. Sack it to the a one-week punt. Free hit 34. <sighs> one-week punts always tend to have knock-on effects. So, I mean, you could do as a differential, but... If you're going to have the spare transfers, I guess. Rhea Pickford or Saar into wildcard 35. Uh, Rhea. Roast Lewis Diaz for a minus four. Have Foden who isn't starting. If you're not free hit 34, I guess getting Lewis Diaz in is good. But I don't think you need to take the hit, to be honest. Uh, chat's kind of just blown up. And I still haven't decided on my freaking captaincy. Uh -huh. <laughs> I generally don't have a clue to go for. Just joined. Heard about Foden being benched. Uh, yep. What defenders will play for Man United? Dallo, wan and Maguire, and then Cambuala probably, but I obviously don't buy him because he's not necessarily going to be a long-term option. Stones, stone starts. That means that I don't know. One of does that mean Vardy will definitely start? Vardy will probably start. Sorry. Stone starts as well. Let me just update that. Uh, Foden is bench, yeah. Uh, I need to lock this captain. I'm, I'm. Oh, there's part of me that wants to go for Son, honestly. Ugh. But Palmer's just like Palmer's very reliant on penalties. Yeah, the problem with Palmer is he just said he just said what did he say in his interview? Something like everyone says I score penalties. What do you want me to do? Miss? I'm not going to miss. So he's definitely missing next next penalty. Honestly, Salah could be up against Maguire, Kambuala, Wambasaka. I mean, Wambasaka might do well against him. Don't know about Haaland. Like, trust me, you'd know if we had that news. Um, one million. Neto, Zabani, Gabriel, Aitnuri, Lascelles. Who? Huh? I don't get the question. Are we talking about like Aitnuri, Gabriel, and? And Zabani, I guess you start. I'm not really sure what the question is, to be honest. <laughs> Got a sneaky feeling you're captain in Haaland. I don't think so. I said this earlier, it's going to sound stupid, but I feel like Haaland isn't the fourth worst captain out of the lot, but he's also the one I'm least likely to captain. Um. I really don't know. I really don't know. I haven't seen any news about Saka. 
um, traveling or not traveling. I think GWiz earlier said that he's traveled, but I'm not sure where that came from. Uh, where is... Yeah, Tony is reliable, yeah. For sure. Maybe I'll just go with what Praz is going with. Seems like a good a reason as any. I don't know, I, I don't mind Salah Captain this week at all. I, I just... I, I was on Son. Have I got a good reason to come off Son? Yeah, had, if Son had scored against West Ham, would I be so worried? I mean, I've got to be honest, I wasn't that impressed with Son in that game. But this is a different game now. It's at home. It's against Nottingham Forest. It's not a bad fixture. Son is very good. Son will also get like really good minutes too. I don't know. I don't know. No, I'm just looking at Son's record at home. It's pretty good. Really good. Last, so he scored against Luton at home. He scored against Palace at home. He blanked against Wolves. He got an assist against Brighton. He scored against Bournemouth. He scored against Everton. He scored against Newcastle. Blanked against West Ham. This is game week 16. He's only blanked once at home. Old sunny boy. And not all those games were through the middle either, I don't think. Uh, play Zabani or Poro? Poro, for sure. Best one or two-week punts for defenders and forwards. Uh, Eight Nuri, maybe. Forwards, Isaac's pretty good. Darwin Nunez is good. Depends how much money you got to spend, I suppose. Tony or Morris? I I'd play Tony, I think. Was going to do Saka to Foden, but with the news, wants to make me sell the sales. Who should I get? Got Brandy, Gusto, Ain't Nuri, and Gabriel. Another, it depends. Are you free hit 34? Another, uh, uh, sorry, another Arsenal defender could be good. Um, it depends how cheap you need them. Dan Byrne, maybe, if you want just another uh, Newcastle defender. Double Bournemouth defense, sell the sales for who or roll? Uh, double ball of defense is probably fine. Just roll. Diaz in for Gross or play Doughty or Gross. Play Gross, I'd say. One transfer, SCP into eight, Nuri and bench, Van Dyke or roll. Just roll, probably, I would say. I would chill with the Super Chats now because I'm, I'm in a captaincy panic, or I will be. I've got some tunes on already. Too sweet like chocolate. You'll be using the stat around him scoring every other game week next. Yeah, I know, exactly. Yeah, fair enough on, on Sally. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. I don't know, but Palmer just looks like everyone's going to go Palmer. And it's going to, it's going to, it's just going to be so bad when he, because he's going to haul, he's going to score, he's going to score two goals. And it'll be like, well, of course, it was, it was Sheffield United away. What were you thinking? Why were you even looking elsewhere? That's what's going to happen. Um, so I don't know. Anana to Dubravka, no freaking... Maybe. <laughs> but Dubravka might not even be a long-term option. What rank are you chasing? Go Sal. Yeah, but if I'm chasing rank, I go Son, right? Son, Stuart Hall. It doesn't work like that, though. <laughs> he could just blank again. Like You just don't know. I don't know. Some will score twice. He also might not score twice. Grealish starts. I love the way... I, do you know what I love, right? I love the fact that he's not tweeting about Haaland when he knows that's who everyone wants to know about. Like, Grealish starts. Like, he's this big FPL option. <clears throat> I mean, the Foden news was big. I wonder if they would. I wonder if he would have tweeted about Foden and had lazy FPL and not already done it. Harlan's going to start though. I'm, I'm fairly confident. Ish, ish. Well, Sal I, I think Palmer, Salah, and Harlan will all be over 100% effective ownership. Son maybe as well because his ownership generally is still quite high. But 
I, I think he might come in just under. What did Praz tweet? I've watched Salah enough times versus Man United to not even debate captaincy. Yeah. I know. Sal Salah's record versus Man United is really good. Um, 17 direct goal contributions, 13 of his own and four assists. Damn. How many times has he played? He's played them 14 times in the Premier League in the FA Cup and he scored... Oh, sorry. He scored 13 in 14 and four assists. His record is great. It is great. And he's got a terrible, terrible team, um, terrible defense right now. I don't know. Son captain Salah Vice. Salah captain Son Vice. Oh. Reverse fixtures say Palmer captain. There you go. Job done. Um, What is Salah doing against Man United? For oh, there's no no on it. No no. Salah put up 0.42 xG, 0.33 expected assists. The thing is, I kind of want to go against Palmer because it's a bit of a differential. But I also don't know if this is the week to go differential. But you're not going to get many weeks like this. Like, game week 33, if Harlan starts, it's Harlan captain. Game week 34, captaincy will be Salah because it's a double game week. Game week 35 will be Palmer or Son because it's a double game week. Game week 36, I've not looked at. But I probably won't have Salah or Saka, so it would have to be Harlan against Wolves. Game week 37 will be Harlan because he's got a double game week. And then game week 38, who knows? So this is the only real week where, until game week 38, I would argue, where there's a proper decision to be made. Hang on, sorry. Alvarez starts. I, I, lo I love it. Just not tweeting about Haaland at all. Right, sorry. Um, Stone starts, yes. And Alvarez starts as well. Um, judging by the record where the player was young, informed, not after injury, we're in a world where Salah accumulates 0.1 XGI versus Sheffield United at home. Yeah, I know, sure. But then we're also in a world where Salah um, generates 1.49 expected goals against Brighton. At home, right? 100% price bias going on here. Deny it all you want, but it's true. Yeah, I know. I mean, Son, Salah, and Haaland have proved a lot of times in the past they're just terrible. They're just terrible. I, I don't know about Haaland. I, I don't know about Haaland. What? Yeah, I'm just going to get rid of people putting rubbish. Do, do. There's no, there's been nothing on Haaland. I, I'd be shocked if he doesn't play, honestly. But if Alvarez is starting, maybe, maybe Haaland's on the bench again. But then if Foden, if Foden's out, I don't know. You've convinced me to captain Son by what? What have I said? <laughs> don't put that on me. All right, I'm on Salah, but I want to, I kind of want to switch to Son. Uh, now people are saying Harlan starts. Oh, has he left it till the end? Okay, yeah, Harlan starts. Harlan starts. There we go. Job done. Uh, I'm going to captain Son. I should go Salah. I should go Palmer. I don't know. It's 30 seconds. Salah always destroys Man United, but will he now? Son at home. Son's the biggest differential. 
I don't know. I'm, I think I'm, I'm going to think I'm going to leave it on Son. I'm going to leave it on Son. I don't want to watch that Son game now. I'm leaving it on Son. Hang on, let me just... Oh, sugar, it's not going to save. Okay. He's going to be the lowest captain out of the lot. I'm just going to go for it, I think. I'm just going to go for it. Salah probably will do really well against Man United. Palmer's going to destroy me. I, I don't know how I feel about that, honestly. I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, any, like everyone's saying Salah could hurt me. Yeah, of course. So could Palmer. So could Haaland. Like, they, it could all, all hurt. Um, I just think Son's going to be the lowest captain of the lot, so I'm just going to go for the differential. Um, and look, if I'm outside the top 50k by the end of this week, it happens, I guess. It'll be a killer, but... I just had Son originally... I'm so finished, I know. Yeah, 25k. Nightmare. Nightmare. After you said you don't want to go differential. I know, but ugh, I don't know. Orange warning was for the cyclone or whatever, but this is a red warning. Oh, is this for FPL you're talking about? <laughs> Head's gone. Yeah, maybe. You're never positive. I, I'm pretty positive. What do you mean never positive? Last week I thought I was going to get a green arrow guaranteed. My team was looking great. Uh, anything can happen. Song could make a good return. It's potluck. I mean, I, I genuinely think it's, it's pretty close between all four, but the hindsight merchants will be out in force on Sunday, so I'm not looking forward to the knee-jerk stream already. The hindsight will be strong, whoever does really well. And obviously, if Palmer outscores Son, I'm not going to sit here and say it was it was all luck. But um, I think I think the difference in points might get a bit lucky. Ah, oh, it's done. All right, it's done. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed that, make sure to give it a like. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. I'll be back on Sunday for the misery of Son blanking while Salah and Palmer and Haaland have smashed everyone else um honestly stop with the nonsense about me being biased against man united like it's just it's just pure nonsense i've captained salah and harland against them before <laughs> they're all blank i mean yeah maybe right i'm leaving it at that thanks for watching if you enjoyed that make sure to give it a like hit that subscribe button enjoy your weekend enjoy the fact that we don't have to watch those captains mostly until tomorrow um and i'll catch you again for the knee jerk stream tomorrow at nine o'clock we'll start that because the spurs game won't finish until about eight so it'll be a nine o'clock start thanks for watching enjoy your weekend catch you later